What's happening, guys? We are in the gym. Deadlift day today. So Big Tommy and myself are training at the same time, which is nice. So Tom's kind of in full force, I think, at the moment. I'll let him talk about what he's doing. But for me, so again, similar to when we started training, from back doing some stuff like deadlifts, pause deadlifts. Using stiff bar, no suit, no belt. Just getting that, focusing on that raw strength and hitting the, the kind of fancier stuff for the first few weeks. Everything going okay with we core, which is good, so he's putting on weight, getting chunky, getting into a bit more of a routine. So yeah, feeling good. Excited to get it done. Nice to train with Big Tom as well, see what he's up to. Yeah, excited for the next competition, see where I'm going to go to. Oh, I almost forgot. Of course, the secret sachet. You know, if you don't have something, if you don't think, like, just see if I don't take this before I train. You know, it's a placebo or whatever. But I don't have as good a session. Yeah, obviously it gives you energy and stuff, but makes you think, makes your head right. I'm having a wee sachet pre-workout. Just those little things that, almost like superstition sometimes. Uh, same with the blue shorts when say, come on, boom, it's go time. I was going to keep the hat on, the hoodie on at the moment, until I get nice and sweaty. And then we get into it, so anyway. Cheers, bottoms up. If you want to think, sometimes when you come into the gym, and you see these stuff, points left and everything. So frustrating sometimes. I don't understand. I don't understand people. It is what it is. Anyway. First up, I do the frog, frog stretch and ab abductor rocks. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is a nice one for you get it. Your abductors and stuff, nice stretch in your, in your groin. Oh. Don't get a view from behind me. I'm, I'm deliberately staying in front of you at the moment. It's just your hamstrings, my hamstrings cramp up when I do like the small controlled eccentrics like this. We'll see how we get on. But I've got the handles here, so if I'm going too fast, I can just catch it. Easy, right? Four sets of six reps, first set started at 220 and then, you know, increased um, as it goes on. Just him. We knew his name at Britain's. That's what was going in my head when I was lifting. First one, that's it. Uh, two 
point. 220, six reps, and we'll just build up each set. Sharp core. Got you, boy. Let's go, baby. Instead of the deadlifts and stuff from um, the stiff bar, blah blah blah, more of a struggle in it. You know, you can come in and do the one rep stuff, it's class, nice, and you feel dead good. When you get the belt on, the suit on, and everything, hunt on is the same, you know, put your suits on, it's, it just feels better, obviously. Yeah, it's just a struggle. So that's why I'm just taking smaller jumps, smaller increments, don't want to, you know be too premature with like the weight increases and fail. Uh, so for me, when I'm doing these exercises, just by ticking them off, ticking them off, because I know the progress will happen. Um, I know I'm a good deadlifter now, you know, that, that's what I proved to myself at Britain, which is fantastic. I feel really proud of that, so trust the process. Keep doing those little things, and we'll get there. Let's get it. Easy way. Come on. Come on. Easy. Come on. Get it. Go ahead, buddy. Jeez. Nice. 400 double. No bad, huh? That's how you all say it. So. Up to like 250. So it's a bit underwhelming just watching Big Tommy do 400 for a double, but again, focus on myself um, and get it done. So. set now without the pauses. Just to finish it off. So same weight, try and get 10 reps with it. And then RDLs. So the RDLs, um, I'm doing them out of the rack, lighting them up and then it's a controlled, control on the way down and then drive back up. So I think I hit 200 this last week. So again, it's not huge weights, but just needing to get into the feel for it. Everyone's probably wondering if you push get enough sleep. 
Um, I mean, no, we, you know, we're getting by. I feel a lot more energised today. Went home at lunchtime for a nap, which was nice. I've got an hour there, so I think that's important to to kind of do that. You know, Kushi's getting up. She's Kushi's um, breastfeeding, of course, so so she's got to you know be constantly getting up, feeding. Um, so she's smashing it. But again, it's a struggle. Of course, it's a struggle. Everyone has that struggles when they're first-time parents and stuff. But you know the the beauty that like, we created in Little Co. It's amazing, man. See his little smile and like last night I was holding him and he like went did a poo in my hands and the nap I could feel it and then like he did it and then he just kinda opened his eyes and smiled, you know. And, geez oh my that's like those little moments are very special for me, so you can't be that selfish to not appreciate the, the absolutely amazing miracle that um, that we can do. Like we're you know that mum's like women, it's, given, it's, it's unbelievable, so like it's, it's pre-installed in Kush how to, to be a mum, you know. I think that's the thing with like, with, like women when they give birth, like they, they have that, like it's in their DNA, you know, like their ability to care for, to love, to look after, to, to nourish, to, you know, everything for, to kids, it's amazing. Uh, and that's men, you know, like, like all I can do is like try and support Kush and in whichever way I can and guide Koa and try and show him a, a path that he's already, he's already got his own path I believe and just he's got that path and if I can just help him along the way and give him the tools to you know overcome things you know that's why we kind of call them that Koa it's like you know obviously it means warrior and uh, it also means that he can overcome you know life's obstacles and with the right guidance and the right help um, I hope that he will be a happy little chappy. <sighs> right, anyway, enough of talking. What do we do when we talk a lot? Because we don't want to do this. Man. Centric. Oh, pop it back up. Easy. Sometimes makes us stronger. Things with a tantrum there. She's all right. Anyway.
40. Ten set of one last time. With the, you know, the raw strongman build up the last two, three weeks of Brits prep, my accessory stuff dropped off quite dramatically. Um, but now all the accessory stuff is back in, that's why it's a bit longer, but kind of more to do. So this is the time, you know, to strengthen all the different bits and pieces, work on the weaknesses, so, which is good, but it's just a, yeah, it's a long one. That's why I still stand by that intro workout. I think it's a necessity. Um, so it's good. It's my warm up then, boys. That's it. Remember, boys, sometimes it's just like. And then you say, no surrender, because that's just like, oh, come on. Fair play. Yeah. Hey guys, today I deadlifted 400 for two, then did accessories, then did grip. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay spicy, and uh, yeah, go home.